Buenos dias. Good morning, Prairie UU. Good morning, world. We are Prairie Unitarian Universalist Church. We are from Parker, Colorado, and we say to you, bienvenidos y welcome. Be, join us in being a liberal religious light on the prairie. I and we invite you. We invite you who seek a caring home to nurture your mind, your body, and your spirit. I invite you to come and celebrate diversity. I invite you to come and do the work of justice. I invite you who are searching for truth and love. For you who want to be spiritually fed, I invite you and we invite you into our hearts and our home. Welcome, one and all. Welcome from me to you. Welcome to Prairie you. you. Good morning, Prairie family, friends, and guests. I'd like to give thanks for this precious day, for all those gathered here and those far away, for this time we share with love and care. Let us give thanks with hymn 1010 by Canadian folk singer Wendy Luella Perkins. We give thanks. Oh, we give thanks for this precious day. We're all gathered here and those far away For this time we share with love and care oh, We give thanks for this precious day day we're all gathered here and those far away for this time we share with love and care oh we give thanks for this precious day thank you for your lovely singing Let's sing another hymn. This tune is known as Olympia, named after Olympia Brown, the first uh, woman to be ordained a minister in the U.S. She was a Unitarian minister. So let us sing hymn 131, Love Will Guide Us. Love will guide us, peace has tried us, hope inside us will lead the way on the road.
Good morning all. I would like to start off this morning by inviting our littles and everyone else to get your breathing buddy. Many of you know my breathing buddy, Puppy Love. And if you haven't brought your breathing buddy with you, it's time to now go and do that. So I invite you parents that this is the time to help our littles get their breathing buddies and bring them to church. What a better way to start off our church, but with something that we can cuddle with. If um, you haven't sent them off yet, go and do that. Have them come back really quick and we'll get uh, everybody settled into a comfy place and position uh, to bring us together during this time of meditation. Okay, everyone. Most of you know Ralph Waldo Mouse and my buddy Puppy Love. And so now we should just take a moment to settle in um, with your breathing buddy and mine. So don't forget, we can all be young at heart. So everyone is welcome to bring their breathing buddy to church with them every Sunday. I invite you to settle into your space as we do this. And if you have your breathing buddy, uh, to bring him to your chest, bring him or her or they, however they gender identify. And we'll prepare to send goodwill into the world as we light our chalice in covenant with each other. So, as we get it started, I'll invite you to either close your eyes or face a source of inspiration. And we'll get started. So, the first thing I'll invite you to do is to roll your shoulders back and open up your chest. Let your body be, come as relaxed as possible. Lean your neck to the left, stretch a little bit, and then to your right, stretch a little bit. Just get into a place where your body is nice and open and you can do some breathing. I invite you to inhale, and then exhale. A nice deep breath in. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Our beloved community is not built on a creed. It is built on a covenant that we live together in relationship. Our chalice is a symbol that we are connected with the larger Unitarian Universalist community. During this month, we focus on renewal. And today we focus on how much and how we will be building our community together this church year. I invite you now as we take these next few moments of meditation and prayer to reflect on our theme for the day, Mi casa es su casa. Today, as we have done over the last several months, we come to church not to a building, but to our homes. We celebrate in community with each other. We celebrate from our living rooms, our kitchens, our bedrooms, backyards, front porches, and some of us from our vehicles as we drive to run errands. We celebrate this morning that we are a living, vibrant tradition, that we are a community of beloved people who care for each other in times of need, in times of abundance. Porque nosotros somos familia, Somos familia contigo con toda la comunidad de the Southwest, Southeast, Denver metro area, and far beyond. Our covenant and our community commitment to the world around you, as you know, does not begin or end with active participation in Prairie U. Our covenant is with the larger community larger community which many of that community are homeless or housing insecure. Many who do not have means to allow them to be with us in this community 
via virtual format. Now, as many of you know, I believe that if you speak out loud your wish of goodwill, that it gives power to that wish or that intention. Therefore, I speak of these members of our community, our Prairie UU community today, not only because when I speak of these members of our community, do we remember them, but also because it reminds us that we are called to act on their behalf. I, at this time, now speak of those who suffered in both the heat and the cold this past week. I speak out loud and hold in the heart of this community and bring them into your home because our house is their house and their home is our home. I speak on behalf of those whose home is a park bench in a city park in the heat without water as we hit a record 70 plus consecutive days of 90 degree weather. I speak on behalf of the countless numbers of people whose homes are tents and could not get into warm and protected sheltered space before it snowed on Tuesday and Wednesday. I speak to you on behalf of families whose homes are their vehicles as they endure the cold overnight. I speak of, to you on behalf of trans women whose home is the couch of a friend for a night or two at a time. I speak to you on behalf of the migrant, those whose home is one that moves with the seasons away from family and community. I speak to you on behalf of the man on the corner of 225 and Parker Road, holding a sign that says, need money for a place to stay. I speak to you on behalf of all the people we turn our eyes away from as we pass them on the street, as we drive by their homes without recognition. And I now invite you to speak love and peace into the world by speaking of those who you hold in your heart who you hold in this larger community as we send positive and healing energy into the world. I ask you to reflect on the person in your neighborhood whose home you share on this blue planet but fail to recognize. Please, I invite you to enter the comments in the comments or unmute yourself and speak the name of anyone to whom you would like to send goodwill at this time. We speak of those which we carry in the heart of this community as a sign that we care for the interdependent world around us. I now bind all that has been named and made known to us. And also those which remain 
unnamed and held in the heart of this community. As we light our chalice flame as a symbol of our covenant to each other, we do so that it is a symbol of connection to the world around us. Please join me as we recite our sacred promise. We covenant, we covenant to, to be, be a welcoming, welcoming and loving, loving community, community, offering each other fellowship, sanctuary, and a joyful spirit. We seek justice and peace in all our deeds and relationships, and we respect and honor both the individual and the collective search for sacred meaning and truth. We revere and celebrate the diversity of our earth and are guided by the spirit that connects all life as, as we, we reach out to, to offer our, our best to ourselves, our community, and our world. May the goodwill that we have just offered up be held in our hearts as a sign that we come to a place in a way that shares the words of our mouths, the music of our hearts, and our very silent, still, spiritual self as we share these next few moments of silence.
welcome and my name is Ali. You might be number one in the speech, but my name is Ali. It's the top song fun for sets. Gotta roll! Time for all ages also. Also to have some fun! Hello and welcome back to another edition of Sankofa Read Aloud. Today's story is titled, All Are Welcome. Written by Alexandra Penfold and Susan Kaufman. I hope that you enjoy this amazing story. Pencils sharpened in their case. Bells are ringing. Let's make haste. School's beginning. Dreams to chase. All are welcome here. No matter how you start your day, what you wear when you play, or if you come from far away, all are welcomed here. In our classroom, safe and sound, fears are lost and hope is found. Raise your hand, we'll go around. All are welcomed here. Gather now, let's all take part. We'll play music, we'll make art. We'll share stories from the heart. All are welcomed here. Time for lunch, what a spread, a dozen different kinds of bread. Pass it around till everyone's fed. All are welcomed here. Open doors, rush outside. We will swing, we will slide. We'll have fun side by side. All are welcomed here. We're part of a community. Our strength is our diversity. A shelter from adversity. All are welcomed here. We will learn from each other. Special talents we'll uncover. There's a big world to discover. All are welcomed here. So much to learn, so much to do. And when the busy day is through, can't wait to come back. Start a new, all are welcomed here. Head for home to get some rest and greet tomorrow ready and fresh. Our time together is the best. All are welcomed here. You have a place here. You have space here. You are welcomed here. We hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you enjoy the video. As we start off our new year of lifespan education. Yeah, and we I'm... Hope that you all will join us. <laughs> yeah. Um, all are welcome, and we can't wait to see you then. Yeah. It's going to be great. Goodbye, I think. Now let's join together in singing our youth out. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere. Everywhere you may go Go now in peace, go now in peace May the love of God surround you Everywhere, everywhere you may go This morning we'll be centering on these words from Meeting the World by Mark Nepo. There is a wind that keeps blowing since the beginning of time in every language ever spoken. It continues to whisper, you must meet the outer world with your inner world or existence will crush you. If inner does not meet outer, our lives will collapse and vanish. Though we often think that hiding our inwardness will somehow protect or save us, it is quite the opposite. The heart is very much 
like a miraculous balloon. Its lightness comes from staying full, meeting the days with our heart prevents collapse. This is why 90-year-old widows remain committed to tending small flowers in the spring, why 10-year-olds with very little to eat care for stray kittens, holding them to their skinny chests, why painters going blind paint more, why composers going deaf write great symphonies. This is why when we think when we cannot possibly try again, we let out a sigh that goes back through the centuries. And then, despite our experience, we inhale and try again. I would like to welcome you to our new service format. As you may have noticed, the flow today is a little bit different. We are trying this new flow in response to the feedback uh, we have received from many of you over the past few months. We hope that you enjoy this new format as one that is spiritually feeding and uplifting, as well as thought provoking and grounding. As always, we welcome you to provide us with feedback. It is now time to welcome all of our first time guests and visitors. We welcome you. We hope that you feel welcomed and a sense of inclusion today as we engage our online service format. We want to acknowledge those who are joining us for the very first time. Whether you are from Parker, Colorado, Glendale, California, Abilene, Texas, or anywhere else in the world, you are welcome to be here with us. If you are joining us on Sunday morning or during the week, we also welcome you. Please join us via social media and let us know you are here. We thank you for being with us here today. We ask that you please also let us know that you are here by clicking the welcome link in the description or the chat, depending on where you're viewing from, or by going to www.prairieu.com forward slash welcome and signing in on our guest registry. We want to keep connected with you in the next weeks, months, and hopefully years to come. When we meet in person, um, usually at this time of the service, we would ask you to turn to your neighbor and wish them a warm welcome. Today, since we are not meeting in person, but meeting in our home churches, we, I offer to you a virtual hug on behalf of all of the leadership at Prairie UU and join and ask you to join us with celebration as we enter this time together as community. Welcome to the Tavern of Despair. <laughs> wait, wait, this isn't the Caravan of Despair. This is Prairie UU. Come yet again. 
I would like to talk to you today about renewal. In this version of renewal that I would like to reflect on, we'll be reflecting less on renewal of energy and more about renewal of perspective. This week brings together a culmination of several calendar events. Today, we kick off, along with many other UU churches, the new church program year. And we, here at Prairie UU, will be kicking off our lifespan program. Across the nation, on September 15th, we open National Hispanic Heritage Month. And on September 18th, we open the Jewish New Year with Rosh Hashanah. Very personally for Denard and I, it means the start of a new year, our second year here in Colorado. I know that for many of you, there are lots of new and renewed beginnings happening. Some of us are starting a new school year with children at home, never been done before. Others are starting new jobs or trying to figure out how the year will continue. Each of these events call upon us for renewal of spirit and perspective. Today, I will be asking you how we can, as a community, renew our perspective on what church is and how we do church. I would like to ask you to reflect on what starting a new year, a new church year, means for you. I would like to open the conversation with you with the statement that we say every Sunday. A statement that says, Prairie UU is not an institution. We are a community of people. Now, I personally know that this to be true. Because when I look at Prairie UU, I see a community of people in relationship with a commitment to each other to take care of each other in good times and in bad. Now, we all know that this year, for many of us, it has, had, it has been difficult for us to maintain these Prairie UU relationships. As much as we try, there is just something missing by only being able to meet online and not being able to meet in person with our community. There is something missing when we can't greet each other in person with shaking hands or hugs or sharing a cup of coffee after service. There is something also to be said and to be thankful for now that we look back for things that didn't go right or when somebody didn't show up for a program and we had to scramble at the last minute to make things work. For all the complaints about lack of volunteers or hauling chairs or staying late to tear down or arriving early to set up. I know most of us would give about anything to be able to do all that crazy chaos again in community. It is literally the understatement of the year to say that 2020 has pretty much been a miserable year so far. Let's be honest. Many of us have hope that 2020 will get better. I know that I try to have hope. But most of us live in a reality where 2020 is simply just sucking the hope and life out of us at every turn. And we don't feel like there is an end in sight. I really don't know where many of us can get energy to renew. And I don't think that it's fair for me to try to ask you to, let's get pumped up and let's have energy for the new church year. What I can do for this first part of the church year for, the, for this Jewish New Year's beginning and the end of 2020, is to ask you to not try to find a pep and figure out how we're going to be so excited about the New Year. But what I can do is ask you for a renewal of perspective. And that's what I'm going to do. The renewal of the perspective that I'm going to give you is one that comes from my family and my cultural experience. Now, many of you know I do not speak fluent Spanish. Even though it was spoken by most of my family members as a second language, with a few as a first language, the truth is that for me, most of what easily pulls together today, as the joke goes, are the bad words. Less easily for me today is common Spanglish and language code switching, which I showed you earlier during the call to worship and the uh, meditation. What I have not lost, though, in knowing my language for my family is the sentiment of the language, the uniqueness of connection that comes with it, the uniqueness that comes with it that calls people into relationship. Now, 
That doesn't mean that I don't feel that I haven't lost something of my culture and my identity as I've lost this actual language. So what I'd like to do is share a few lines from When a Language Dies by John Ross. And I'll probably butcher the Spanish. Cuando mover una lengua, las cosas divinas, estrellas, sol y luna. Las cosas humanas, pensar y sentir, no se reflejan en eso espejo. And this translates to, when a language dies, the divine things, stars, sun, and moon, the human things, to think and to feel, are no longer reflected in this mirror. I think for many of us, we feel that the language of church, or should I say the language of how we do church here at Prairie, has died for us over this year. For many of us, we no longer see the divine, the stars, the sun, the moon in many ways. We no longer see ourselves reflected in the mirror of this church. And this is why I'm asking you to look at these things with the new renewal of perspective. Y ahora, I'm going to ask you to look at things from a Latino, Hispanic, indigenous perspective. The perspective that mi familia. In mi familia's tradition, we say things like, not exactly, but like, mi iglesia es mi familia, y mi familia es mi iglesia. If you notice when I say these, the words are repeated in a reciprocal language. The title of the service today is, My home is your home, and your home is my home. What I just said was, my church is my family, and my family is my church. Now, in Spanish, we usually don't say this exactly like this. What we usually do is we'll say the first phrase. As you know, in Spanish, they drop off lots of words. But the second phrase is implied. The implication is that we live in a relational, covenantal world that is reciprocal and mutual. So when I tell you my home is your home, I really mean it. I am much like we do here at church, offering you a covenantal relationship when I say those words. I'm offering to you all that I have. I'm opening up my most intimate spaces. I'm sharing with you where I live, my hospitality, my food, and my family. Any of you who have been to my home more than a time or two, you know that I will say, the kitchen's there, you know where the refrigerator is, you know where the bathroom is, do what you need to do. I, without ever saying so, offer you a covenant when you enter my home. You are now in my home. You are my church and you are my family. And this is a very intimate thing to do. To just let people roam through your home. Open a cupboard or your gelera. That's the refrigerator. I believe that it is a very similar to the new church that we are seeing ourselves in. A new church that brings us not to a building, but into each other's homes. With the dirty dishes in the background, the fur babies barking, and walking across our keyboards. I mean, really, how many cats butts do we need to see? We've seen a lot. We are, though, relaxing on our couches, sitting at our dining tables, and cooking together in our kitchens. Not to mention the bedrooms and the bathrooms, and you all know who you are when those cameras go out. When we see each other during online services like this and other meetings, we see into each other's most inner sanctums, not only with our homes, but also with our innermost self and our families and just our person. Sometimes, yes, we even see each other's in our PJs, unshaven, without makeup, and you know what? It's okay. Some of us have just woken up from a nap with bed head, and are really grouchy before our first cup of coffee. Yes, some of us, and you know who you are, have tried to hide the truth. We know what happens when that camera gets turned off 
all of a sudden out of the blue. And at the end of the day, the Prairie UU that we once looked at no longer exists. It is true that we no longer see ourselves in the mirror that we used to. But I believe we're creating a new mirror. A mirror that does not look like the old Prairie UU. But instead of new Prairie UU, a renewed Prairie UU, a Prairie UU 2.0. We are creating a new covenantal community that brings our church home. That makes my church home your church home. That makes my church family your church family. It makes your family my church family. It connects us in a new way where we see the relationships in these mirrors in a more deep and intimate way. As we start this new year and new relationship and new covenant with each other, I'm going to invite you to reconnect and reinvent and reinvigorate all those R words that we can wrap around renew as we recommit to a covenant in this relationship. But you know, it's true. Mirrors are fragile. And as a church, we just cannot be fragile because we're a committed, committed relationship and church and covenant that we owe to each other. So I'm going to ask you this week, to help to make that mirror stronger. To make that mirror where we see our own reflections as this new Prairie UU that's going to exist virtually for a little while longer into something different. So first, I'm going to ask you to renew yourselves in ways so that we can reconnect. I'm going to ask you to do the structural things. Go to our website. Make sure you are reading the newsletter. Make sure you're familiar with ways to connect. Ways to connect with me, Prairie UU, and others on social media. Please go to Breeze and go to Gmail and activate your accounts. Secondly, though, I'm going to ask you for something much more important. I'm going to ask you to reconnect and renew our relationships with our, con with our fellow congregants, with our fellow community members. I'm going to ask you to reach out to somebody you haven't reached out to since March. Or maybe somebody you haven't seen since the last time we were together in person. I'm going to ask you to just reach out and to renew that relationship in this new format. I know I personally have failed at this. I have not been able to reach out to, for whatever reasons, everyone that I should have. And I'm going to try to do better. I'm going to ask you to hold me accountable. I'm going to ask you finally, though, my last thing that I'm going to ask you to do this week, something that I'm going to ask you to do as we go forward. I'm going to ask you to remember that my church, my home, my church home, my home that is now my church, is open to you. I'm going to ask you to remember that my church family, my family, is open to you. I'm going to ask you to look at each other as we meet together and to remember that our family is what we create. Our home is where we create it. Our church is where we create it. It is the reading that we shared earlier goes and said, if we don't allow the, inter, the inner to meet the outer, it will die. So I'm going to ask you, be a little bit more vulnerable. Share a little bit more with our church. Remember, mi casa es su casa. Mi iglesia es mi familia. My church is my family. I ask you to remember... I ask you to share. I ask you to renew all of these things as we go forward. We are a family, a community, a covenant. And we are reciprocal in our relationships, even though we don't say it all the time. We share and we love each other in good times and in bad. Mi casa es su casa. Su casa es mi casa. Your church is my family. My church is your family. 
We are all in this together. And I welcome you to 2020 in our new church program year as we do some exciting things to renew this community and to build it to be even stronger than we thought it could be with a deeper level of vulnerability and intimacy. Mi casa es su casa. Mi iglesia es mi familia. Mi familia es mi iglesia. You are my church. Blessed be. It is time that we renew ourselves and our new church home. Mi casa es su casa. And your home is my home. It is time we gather in the world with our neighbors to heal their pain. Mi casa, Mi casa es su casa, and your home is my home. It is time to welcome that ancient blowing whisper that connects us beyond time and space. Mi casa, Mi casa es su casa, casa, and your home is my home. It is time to reveal our inner selves to the outside world. Mi casa, Mi casa es su casa, es su casa and, and your, your home, home is my home. home. It is time to try, welcome each other. Mi casa es su casa, and your home is my home. Every day, we offer ourselves as a liberal religious light on the prairie of the southeast Denver metro area. We open our spiritual home and our hearts to all people who thirst for authenticity and connection with the larger mystery of life. During this time that so many people are being affected by this health crisis, we are taking on a new way of being in covenant and community with each other. Part of being in this community is by sharing our resources, our time, our talent, and our treasure. Prairie UU, as you all know, is not an institution. It is a community of beloved people who come together in love and support of each other. We need to be taken care of in a variety of ways. Often though, we forget to recognize the people who offer their time and talent to us every day. And I would like to take a moment to offer a gratitude to members of two of our ministry teams that serve us every day, our core team and our lifespan team. I would like to thank the members of these two teams for their support and dedication to our community. The core team and the lifespan teams have been hard at work the entire summer to bring you this new service format and to help us reevaluate how we can further center our children and youth in the life of the church through spiritual development and educational programming. A lot, I, along with these two teams, are available to each of you for questions, comments, and kudos almost any time. And please don't hesitate to contact me or any of us after service during the fellowship time. We would also like to remind you about our community fund and thank all of you who have contributed to this fund over the last few months. The community fund is managed by the Committee on Shared Ministry and myself to assist members of our community who may be in financial crisis. If you are in need of immediate financial help with items like making a utility bill, an auto repair, medical copay, or anything like that, please let me or a member of the Committee on Shared Ministry know. We invite you also to be a happy giver to Prairie to you with your time, your talent, and your treasure. While we cannot pass the plate in person, we do need your continued support as we continue to build our beloved community. We are forever grateful for your contributions. You can make an offering in a variety of ways, online, via your phone, or even by using good old fashioned US mail. And I would like to thank you for your offering to our community. We know that it is generously given and believe when we say it is gratefully received. From you I receive to you I give, together we share, and from this we live. From you I receive, to you I give, together we share, and from this we live.
We welcome you today and every day to join us in our beloved community. We hope that you hear the call, the call to become a member of our community, that you reach out to us to connect with us in a deeper and more meaningful way. Becoming a member of Prairie UU is becoming a member of a sacred bond where we commit to live together for the benefit of the interdependent world of which we are all a part. We love our community here at Prairie U, and we welcome you to it. This is a place of acceptance and commitment, a sacred and spiritual home that opens itself up to you. You and yours are welcome here. If you are called to be a member of our community and have not already done so, we invite you to become a covenantal member or a virtual member. Virtual members can participate in our community from anywhere in the world. We simply ask you to contact a member of our membership committee. You can do that at membership at prairieuu.org or go to our website at prairieuu.org forward slash welcome and complete our guest registry and check the box that says, I want to know more about membership. We will be happy to engage this journey with you and welcome you into our beloved community. We hope that you will join us, that you will feel the call and the commitment to join us in community. Every day, we are available to you and welcome you into Prairie UU. As we prepare to leave the sacred space, may we remember that our service does not end here, but continues to live in our hearts as we go forward with these words from Mark L. Bellatini. Go in peace, live simply, 
gently, at home in yourselves. Act, Act justly, speak, speak justly. Remember the depth of your own compassion. Forget not your power in the days of your powerlessness. Do, Do not desire, desire to be wealthier than your peers, and, and stint not your hand, hand of charity. Practice, practice forbearance. forbearance. Speak the truth, or speak not. Take, Take care, care of yourselves, yourselves as bodies, bodies, for you are a good, good gift. gift. Crave peace for all people in the world, beginning with yourselves, and go as you go with the dream of that peace alive in your heart. Amen. 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 Shalom. Salam. Namaste. Namaste. Blessed, Blessed be. be.